What's going on guys? My name is Corey. Welcome to Tinker Time. Today we got a 2016 Tau 110 little pit bike that uh, us grown men like to ride. So uh, we're having some issues with it. We're going to go through it and uh, I've already diagnosed everything on it. So I know it needs a top end, uh, at least a head gasket because the head gasket's leaking on it. So while we're in the engine, we're just going to go ahead and put new piston and rings in it. And uh, let me show you what's going on with it and how I got my uh, diagnosis. Alright guys, so I picked this bike up uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's been neglected, so uh, I buy them and I fix them up and get them running again. Uh, have some fun on them and get rid of them. So uh, I got this, I, I replaced the carburetor on it, uh, new spark plugs, air filters, and I got it running, it just isn't running right. So uh, I'll show you what's going on with it. Uh, I just can't get the uh, the mixture right. So it likes to idle high and uh, the idle screw really don't affect the engine. So something tells me uh, there's something going on. So I did some troubleshooting. So I'll start it up and I'll show you what I found here. Two kick Betty. That thing sounds like it's running a little bit rough. <laughs> yeah, it ain't it ain't the best running machine. But uh, so what's happening is that engine sucking in that carburetor clean, cleaner and acting as a fuel and making those RPMs jump up. So that gasket is is bad. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil. I know you can replace piston rings on the bike, but I'm gonna pull the engine out. We full grown men ride these things and we have fun on them. So I wanted to do some more inspecting on them motor mounts and. Uh, so we'll drain the oil, get it on the bench, and we'll tear into it. This is that Tau Tau performance, man. Yeah, something like that. We're going to be ripping. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, let's get started. All right, guys. First thing we got to do is take the skid plate off here. And there's uh, two bolts underneath. I already took them out. But uh, there's two underneath here. And then there's two arms that go up on each side that hold this thing on. So there's one here and one on the other side there. Seems easy enough. Yeah. So, and then it's, uh, I'll pull the exhaust off, which is just two bolts here on the head, and then one mounting bolt underneath the back fender there. Exhaust will come off. We're actually gonna take this uh, heat shield off. That fancy chrome boy? That chrome boy. Ooh. We're gonna get wire wheel, because it's pretty rusty. We're gonna, we're gonna clean that up a bit, put some high temp paint on it get this thing looking pretty for Steven, because Steven is going to take this thing home with him. If I'm going to be ripping it, it's got to be good. <laughs> so, uh, after that, we'll get the exhaust off, um, and then it's just a little connection. So, this uh, spring right here on the brake, that's a motor mount, so that spring will come off. Don't you be giving me no hoopy stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll take that bolt out, and then, so there's only two bolts holding the engine in, this, here, this one here, and this bolt here. All right. Um, Disconnect the carburetor and the stator from uh, the wiring harness, and I think should fall right out, and we'll get it on the bench. All right, so uh, I guess this is where we cue the awesome time lapse, right?
just realized we've got to take the pegs off of here. And unfortunately, the pegs are attached to the kickstand, which is holding the bike up. So, uh, I thought this was tinker time, not is. guessing time. Right. <laughs> now, I'm going to drain the oil first so it ain't spilling all over my bench. And uh, so we'll drain the oil, and then we'll take the pegs, kickstand off, and get that engine out of there. Sounds good. Let's get it done. Big old oil pan for a little old bike right there. Well, I used to have a big truck once upon a time. So, that thing I, was pretty beefy. Then I downgraded to a normal sized person's truck, so a little bit more convenient. Normal sized person's truck. All right, I'm gonna unscrew this and then I'll undo the dipstick here and give it some vent, vintage. Vintage. Messy. Getting messy, bruh. I got these real high dollar gloves sitting over there that I never use. I don't know why. Why don't you? Good question. <laughs> Man loves the carcinogens. All of the carcinogens. Give me the, Give me the carcinogens. Wait. Bruh. Look at that stuff. It's Chinese oil. Chinese oil? That's no excuse. What the hell? Man, man gonna sell me this damn old bike over here without fixing it up. Look at him. Hey. A little over doing we're fixing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to ride some pit bikes with my homie. Hey man, you got yourself a pretty beefy pit bike over there. I'm a pretty beefy boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, did she say that or did he say that? Uh, he did. <laughs> I ain't too worried about getting it all getting it all out. Anything else to do on me when we have it far, so it just needed an oil change and try to eliminate any mess we can. So throw this bad Larry up in there. If you're watching this video and don't know what an oil plug looks like, that's it. So when I first started working on these, there's another one. mysterious bolt down here that I always used to take out. The spring comes out of a huge pain in the butt. So 17 millimeter. Don't don't do the smaller one. To go with the bigger one. To go with the bigger one. Why do they have two oil plugs? What the hell? I would be lying if I told you exactly what it is, but it goes up, there's a spring on it, and a ball. I don't know what it does. Well, this is a Tao Tao. This is Chinese, you know? Yeah. yeah. Hashtag beer virus. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, let's get that other uh, homemade awesome stand out that I picked up from a guy and uh, put it on there. And we got two bolts left holding the engine on. It's going to hit the ground and roll three times. And, Probably need replaced. Sweet deal. Yeah, look at that strength. I got this, don't worry about it. Oh my god. Oh, strength me, daddy. <laughs> Alright. I might need you to pick up on this setup. I don't want to. Front tires on the piece. Alright, hold on one second. Yeah, this is a real video. We set up tripods during the video. Oh my god! Alright, put some MAN on it. Oh, I mean, I don't know if like, I have all that. Like, up, up? Yeah, oh, I gotta get under there. Let's back it up. Yeah, right there. Right there! Don't let it fall on me. Oh, I'm gonna let it fall on you, bro. Who needs a kickstand anyway? Right? <laughs> oh yes, that's beautiful. Two bolts. Then we can pick the bike up and leave the engine sitting on that stupid... Oh, so we're going to be lifting this up? No, it's exaggerating a little bit. I mean, I could try to help you lift it up if you want to leave the engine sitting there. It'd be a cool video. It would. I say we do it. Do it for the gram. For the gram. That's what all the cool kids are doing these days. <laughs> I can't even spell Instagram. Insta who? Instagram. Apparently, apparently you have to straight flex on them. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing 
all these these kids are like straight flexing on the gram, bro. <laughs> I don't even have muscles. <laughs> I don't even have muscles. Flex my nah, man, I got beer boobs over here. <laughs> all right, some China man put this bolt on pretty tight. So. Hashtag beer virus. We'll loose them up, and then we can rip them off in an impact. Beautiful. Boots. Boots, my goots. What do you guys think about my new uh, setup here? Man, that thing is fancy. I just got those yesterday. And some old man had them, and he's moving out and traveling the country by RV. And he's got a killer deal on him, so I have to go scoop him up. But I got them all hung up last night. Man, it's fancy over here. I like it. All the privilege. <laughs> You know what I think I like most about the setup? It's those damn trophies. All trophies over here. Look at that. Back in the day, I used to <laughs> do circles in a car. And... Thunder race car? <laughs> what about that thunder car over there, Bo? Good times, good times. All right. There's one of them. What is that? It's a motor mount bolt. That's what holding your engine in. Really? And then this one's pretty tight, so I might have to get a little persuasion. I heard uh, I heard a loose rumor from somebody that there was a uh, a bike somewhere in the area that may or may not have had a um, screwdriver for said motor mount somewhere in here-ish. Um, but yeah, this right, bike right here at this brand new bolt. Oh man, that thing? <laughs> somebody had a screwdriver. Oh, it was this bike. Yeah. Oh man, somebody had a screwdriver in that? Yes, it was uh, quite embarrassing. And I, I got it hung, and the, the guy had it started for me when I showed up. And I kicked it, or uh, he had it started, and I took off on it, didn't think nothing of it. I got home, and I kicked it. Dang, Kickstarter fell off, so I got some new parts <laughs> over there for it. Look at this bolt. Man had the jerry rig to get up in there. <laughs> Look at that works, thing. Though. It, it does work. That bike's bad though, man. That thing's got a freaking clutch on it. Ooh wee. I wish I had the carburetor uh, that I took off of that thing. Apparently it was leaking. This dude took a tube of RTV and sealed the float hole. That's uh, what all men do. Come on. No. I shouldn't have smacked that kid. In case you guys are wondering, RTV makes a great gasket and it's also really good at filling holes. <laughs> Just make sure those holes aren't internal. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. All right, let's drop the engine. Oh Coming man. At Coming at me. Oh yeah. She just good. It's cool. Look at that. Wow. You should be able to pick this bike straight up and that engine sit right there and probably fall on the floor. All right. All right. Let's do it. Lift it up? Well, this brake lever's in the way, so if we pick the bike up, it'll tilt the engine. Man, you had me set up a tripod to tell me about a brake lever? What <laughs> the just hell? Out like a normal person. Go ahead. About that. Just make sure the bike don't fall on me, Lee. Oh, God. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Jeez. Hold on. Man, we should just lift it up like we had been playing. That would have been cooler. Hold on a second. Ready to rip. Yeah. That's the bonus. Oh, just get the no in. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, you got working out? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I've been taking my uh, my man meat pills. Alright, let's get to I'm gonna put that towel down so I don't get my brand new bench all. That ain't brand new, that's that's used. Yeah. It's just, used. Just me, okay? Gently used. Out of the way. <laughs> oh god. Now that the stuff's out the way, I can get a hold of my towel here and set it up. Don't forget your towel. <laughs> you guys got a towel? Alright. 8, 10, sometimes it's 13 and 14. It's usually all you need to work on these down. 
Chinese as long as you don't lose a 10, bro. <laughs> I got a few of them just in case. <laughs> they should start selling insurance for the 10 mils <laughs> on snap-on trucks. Oh yeah. You know, we got your 10 mil insurance over here. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, meat city. Cool. So uh, we're gonna be taking the uh, cam chain sprocket off. So I need to get the side cover off. So we'll be able to uh, make sure it's in time. I'll go ahead and do that now. On this model, I've seen other ones that have more than two, but this model just has two bolts in it. So this is a flywheel here, and there's a mark on the case. Right here, right where? Let me show you. The I'm whole man. We'll grab my pointer. Your old pointer. There's a notch right here in the uh, case. Mm -hmm. So on the flywheel, when the flywheel spins around, this is your magnetic pickup. Right where? Here. Right there. This thing, and it's a little magnet. Okay. And every time this flywheel comes around, there's a raised part right here. So every time it passes by here, it sends signal. To the CDI and the CDI send signal to the spark plug, give you your spark. So, at this cutout. Hey man, did anybody ever tell you, you know a lot about this stuff? No. Oh, well, you do. So, this cutout, there's an F and a T on your flywheel. So, once this line is at this mark here, that's when the spark fires. And then. Gotcha. So, when, you, when you're setting that up, you want to make sure, like if, if we assembled this engine all over again, where would I want to put this flywheel to match up with that bolt? Well, I was getting there. Oh, okay, well. I was about to tell you. Oh, well, I'm ready. So. I'm interested. <laughs> so that's just where the plug fires, but this mark, the T, is for top dead center. So this tells me that the piston is all the way at the top of its cylinder and not going any higher. So we'll make sure that's lined up. If I take this cover off to the cam chain, there should be some marks in there that line up. So let's pull that off and go. Kind of pick out like a real fancy uh, setup here. So this bolt goes all the way through the... Where's it go? I gotta get over here. So this bolt here is what holds this side cover on for your cam chain. Okay. So I'll pull this off. And then this plate come off. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! No plate for you! Yeah, like that. Just like that. <laughs> Just beat the hell out of it, it's all right. So it's... If this is at TDC... <laughs> what? That might be an issue it's having. So, there's a cutout here where this dot should be. Gotcha. And it looks like it's a tooth off. That might be our problem, Steven. Really? So you just went and got me a damn top end for nothing? Hey, we already got it. Oh, I spent a whole twelve dollars on it. Twelve dollar. So we'll fix that. Twelve dollar for longs. But we, <laughs> <laughs> but we do know that that gas that head gasket is leaking, so we'll go ahead and change that out too. Um, let me grab some tools real quick. All right. I'll show you some more about the engine. How's that stuff? I'm gonna go ahead and. I almost swapped to my old workbench, and now it's over there since I moved everything. Yeah, yeah. Loser. Loser. What a dork. All right. Right here, you got your uh, valve clearance openings where you adjust your valves and all that good stuff. If I can get this thing off of here, I'll show it to you. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. It's not mine. I don't care. You better put some meat into it. <laughs> I can't help you. I'm holding the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the mm -hmm. real men deal with electronics. Get my hand on it. Pay the ass! <laughs> Alright, so that's your intake valve. And that clearance in there. I'll show you. So the end of that stud here and the top of the valve should be about 3,000. So we'll Double check that once it goes all together. Three thousand what? Three thousandths of an inch. Three thousandths of an inch. Yeah. I'd make a very inappropriate joke right now about my socks, but... <laughs> They're socks. 
<laughs> yeah, you know what they say about big feet, right? Big socks. socks yeah. Good point. Good point. And also, you have one here for your exhaust valve underneath. Underneath. That's the girl. All right. So, just for uh, um, just because I want to, we'll pull this intake off. I was chasing an air leak already. Oh no. So I thought it was this gasket leaking, so it's already new, but it's got about a hundred of them, so I'll change it anyway. So that's your intake. Pure performance in there. All the wizardry goes in there, and the boom boom comes out underneath. That's right. Now you're learning. I'm learning a little bit, a little bit of tinker time over here. <laughs> you know, I've been tinkering enough with you. Tinker time. Tinker time. All right. So, uh, so there's just four. Uh, bolts that run through here the whole entire the whole length of the head and the cylinder and uh these nuts hold your head and nuts. your cylinder on so uh this is what's holding everything together we'll go ahead and knock those out get this cover off pull the head off and uh also these four and this one here and our head should come off she be punching my camera over here I'm about to be punching the clown here in a little bit. Punching the clown. <laughs> <laughs> you cow! Ah! Yo, you're talking about me, aren't you? No, I'm talking about my own. What? What? I can't say it on the camera. What? You know, you know people say bad things on YouTube all the time, right? My wiener. Your wiener? <laughs> <laughs> Make it seem like some little... 12 year old's gonna be watching this video like, yeah! Mom, what's a clown? What's it mean when I punch my clown? <laughs> we learning about Tinker Time today, Mom. <laughs> Just a bunch of grown men over here drinking beer. <laughs> Punching the clown. Right? <laughs> It'd be funny though if a clown just decided to walk up and you just uppercutted him. Hey, right, here for the surprise birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh. One more thing we gotta do, we gotta get this. That can be. Bro, how you slacking like that? I ain't slacking. Come on, man, put a camera in front of you and you're like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What a dork. I think those are nine millimeter actually, so let me get another shot. Nine mil dose? Nine millimeter. Millimeter, everything's in millimeters, man. Mil dose and thrill dose, bro. Those are man hands, FYI. Yep. You don't know nothing about that. I don't. I'm soft and supple. <laughs> Somewhat resemble a delicate blossom. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Jeez. Funny. Jeez. I'm not saying jeez, I'm saying cheese. Did you show them our new setup there we got? Oh! Look at that! Got all them stuffs. That's going in there too. What is that? I don't know, it looks like a 10 mil. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 10 mils don't go in the engine, bro. Got you some rings. This right here though, this is performance. Oh yeah. That's pure performance. Look at that. Look at that cast in there. Beautiful. That thing is nice. Got little holes all around it. I guess for more lightness, more flows of airs. No, definitely not. <laughs> hey, bro. Holes aren't meant for oil, all right? They're meant for air flows. <laughs> well, one day I'll get this off. One day. Yeah. Grab some persuasion here. Manly persuasion. The girl? That is. Just so everybody's uh on the same page, this is Tinka Time's first video. It is, yeah. Old Dr. Well, Tinka over here. We always joked about it, but we never really did it, but now we're doing it. Yep. So here's a better view of your uh, book, uh rocker arms there. So as the motor turns, this you'll see some raised 
portions of that camshaft that push those rocker arms. Alright, we'll get this cam gear out of here. And uh I'll probably just tuck it back in there until get this head off. What was that? Tuck it back in here until we get this head off. I like tucking things in. I always tuck my feet in when I go to sleep. You know, I can't have my feet hanging out off the bed. It's kind of weird. Monsters of you. Bro, gotta sleep with that closet door closed, man. <laughs> you don't know if Michael Jackson's gonna come out in the closet <laughs> with R. Kelly. I'm trapped in the closet. Oh no, Tom Cruise is in the closet. <laughs> Alright, now this head's come off. And this is going by pretty quick. Yeah, that's they're pretty easy. If I wasn't filming, I'd be learning something right now. Whoa. Old dirty booty. I'll give you a dollar if you lick it. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Carcinogens, man. Do it for the gram, bro. Come on, you see these kids like eating Tide Pods and sweeping their feet out from underneath them when they jump and cracking skulls. <laughs> the skull cracker challenge. <laughs> Have you heard that uh M, &M challenge? No, this is new. Godzilla. Godzilla? Yeah. He uh, wraps real fast. Really? Yeah. Alright, this is your one of the gaskets that was leaking. I don't see any bad spots on it. Man, look at all that cross hatching in there. Yeah. I don't know if you guys could see that. 2016. So, I mean, it's fairly new. It's just Chinese. The old Chinese. Ching Chang Chinese four wheelers and Chinese dirt bikes. <laughs> so we'll uh, pull this cylinder off, but there's a, uh, if you put the camera in here, okay. there's a cam chain roller right here that's holding that mm -hmm. bolted to the cylinder. So we can. Uh, oh, wait, move it over to the right a little bit. There you go. I can see that. See it? Yep. Ooh. Can you see it now? I can see it. Show me the light. Oh, I forgot that was a knot. Oh, God. Stupid nine mils. Damn it, Tinker. Take the time. Alright, that's what that bolt looks like coming out. What's it look like? This. Wait, wait, wait. Why Why is that thing not a full bolt? What? Because it's holding that wheel now. I'll show it to you. Alright. It's a little rubber. A little rubber? A little rubber wheel. Yeah. Rubber? What do you mean, rubber melts? Look, it's rubber. That is weird, though. Yeah, so it just goes in here. Got you. It actually rolled pretty smooth. Because it's oily. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Tons of lubrication. I've always heard dry things are better. <laughs> All right, we've got one. There's only one bolt holding the cylinder on. That's it? Uh, right here. And the rest of the force that it gets is through these bolts here. So go ahead and pull this last bolt out, and we can pull the cylinder off. So this is what you're doing when I'm hitting you up and you're not answering. You're just out here farting around. Fart. Right? Can't even can't even hang out with the homie because he's out here tankering. Don't even hear his phone ringing because he's tankering. <laughs> More than likely my phone's over there on my little toolbox so people don't bother me while I'm tankering. Right? I.E. me. <laughs> be glad I only live eight doors down. All I got to do is walk out my garage and be like, yep, he's home. Garage is open. Loser. He's ducking me. <laughs> Get this bolt off one day. One day. There it comes. There it is. There she goes. Yeah. I love it. That's the best share song ever. I don't think share song yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need some persuasion right here. Oh, old busted girl in there. Where? Oh, weird fire marks. Oh. I, don't know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking. One point to make here, Steven, to go back to that cylinder. Oh. Let's raise it to the top dead center here. If you look on that piston. Oh, I see a little little nick. What is that? Is that an N? It says N. N for north. N for intake. Mm. In, wait. Instead of an I for intake, they put N for intake. Mm. 
Hmm? There's an I in there's an N there too. Yeah. Duh. All right. <laughs> well geez, farts to you. <laughs> At the girl? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we need to keep in mind. What are we keeping in mind? These, sometimes these things come off. Okay. What are those called? Come on. What are they called? Slotty boys? Slotty boys, I guess. All right, so don't forget to check your slotty boys. This one looks like it's going to stay in. You don't want those sleeves in there. Getting stuck. Over him. Might have to replace that. Oh man. I think I might have one. I don't know. You might have an O-ring for that? Maybe. But there's two slidey boys on the side too. Oh god. That. So, Make sure you check them slidey boys, dog. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and uh get these surfaces cleaned back up. Get the old piston out. And we'll be ready to go back together with this, son. Oh son. Yeah. Alright, let's get that piston.